Debbie Birch and I'm with Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and we're here today to talk about an upcoming event. It's actually coming up on June 11th and it's for the Stories of the Chesapeake um, organization and I have Gail Owens here who's the director for that and she's going to tell us a little bit about the event and then about the um, the group as a whole, what you all do. Welcome. Thank you. Thank so, you for having me. I, the name alone, it's a Heritage Happy Hour. Right. It's not something you hear every day. So tell us about what this event is and what it's supporting. Well, this event is actually a celebration of 10 years of the stories of the Chesapeake being certified as a heritage area. Heritage areas celebrate heritage tourism, our culture, our history, right. our archaeology. And we're going to be recognizing heritage heroes. Nice. Uh, people that have given exemplary work to preserve or promote our area, to promote tourism, and have dedicated their lives to our history. And so um, Stories of the Chesapeake isn't just Queen Anne's County. It covers different different That's counties. Right. So you're going to have different heroes being recognized That's from right. each county. Okay. Our Stories of the Chesapeake covers Kent, Queen Anne's, Talbot, and Caroline counties. We okay. are the largest heritage area in the state. Nice. And but we will be at the Y River Upper School, which is just, if you haven't been there, it's a fabulous site and is worth Beautiful. visiting just yep. to see what they've done with the old armory and what someone can do using some of the heritage tax credits and sustainable tax credits that you can get as a part of being in our organization. Right. And this is um, Thursday, June 11th? Thursday, June 11th from 5.30 to 8. Okay. And we will be having local foods. Nice. Local beer, local wine, there everything local. It's all local. It's all local. <laughs> <laughs> and and people can get the tickets. We have the information up on the screen, yes. and you can get tickets by just they're through Eventbrite and just right. put in Happy Heritage Happy, Happy Hour. Hour. That's right. You can get them through Eventbrite. If you're not comfortable using the Eventbrite site, you can call me on my phone. Okay. It's 410-778-1460, or you can... Um, email me at info at stories of the Chesapeake.org. Okay, perfect. So um, somebody might be out there thinking, what are what what is Stories of the Chesapeake? And I know you said it's a heritage area. Can you tell us a little bit about the actual organization and what it does? Sure. Our organization is dedicated to the interpretation, the preservation, and the promotion of our heritage, okay. which is our culture, our traditions, our history, our historic sites our archaeology sites, and we do everything from providing grants mm -hmm. to organizations like the Tucker House, the Queen Anne's Historical Society, the Queen Anne's Railroad Society, um, Kennard School has all received grants. In fact, we've brought in over $2.2 .2 million wow. in grants to our heritage area over the last 10 years. That's huge. That's huge. And, um, you know, it is over all the counties. That's so, right. so you know, there's a lot of groups that are working together, though, under this organization, which I, I think is really great. Yes. Um, and I know it. I know you have another, um, we're not here to talk about right. it, but I know you have another promotion going on, the Tastiest Catch. Yes. Um, give us, just tell us a little sn snippet on that. Um, well, we have thinking, we're thinking, you know, people come to visit. And they're coming because of our culture. They're coming, but they hear about the watermen. They hear about the Chesapeake Bay. Mm -hmm. But once they get here, they don't know where can they really go and get good seafood. How can they actually go crabbing? How can they right. get on the water? And the promotion of the tastiest catch, it's identify those ways yeah. that when our visitors come, they can get out on the water and they can taste our seafood and they can see what what the tastiest catch is all about in Maryland's Chesapeake Bay. And I know you, as promotion for that, you all have made recipe cards. Yes. Um, at the visitor center down on Kent Narrows in Queen Anne's County, I know we have the recipe cards that have been done so far out. That's and right. And they're complimentary. That's right. We do four recipe cards each year. They come from either restaurants or organizations. And on one side is a recipe card, and the other side is a little history. And this, um, the ones that are out now are all crab related. Is that there, right? No, no. There's there's rockfish that's crab. Right. <laughs> there's rockfish crab, crab chowder, and crab cakes. There's, okay. There's a uh, an oyster stew. An oyster okay. Stew. And, and the stories are all about the witness trees in Caroline County, the battle for Ken Island, oh, and that occurred back in the 1600s. Right. The um, shanty boats that on the oh, Chester okay. River, and um, James Michener writing Chesapeake while sitting My in the Robert, while, while sitting in the Robert Morrison. 
Nice, nice. Yeah. And we have one more thing going on coming up. We do technical assistance for right. our partners. And so we're going to be holding a workshop at Atkins Arboretum to talk about how our partners and museums will look at get, um, hazard mitigation. Okay. How can you make sure that your organization is set for the next storm and or fire? Is that, um, is that open to any it is open to it's open to any organization that wishes to come, okay. um, and we've timed it because the Maryland Historical Trust actually has a hazard mitigation planning grant out oh, to assist perfect to assist then. our partners, and so that's why we wanted to have this workshop so everybody would know what they need to and do. And when is that? That is June twenty third. Okay. At ten o'clock at Atkins Arboretum. All right, and is there a charge for that? It is free, so it doesn't get better than that. It's a free workshop to learn about something that there's going to be grants out there for, right. so you might be able to tie it all together. Right. Well, again, everybody needs to mark their calendars for June 11th for the Heritage Happy yes. Hour and come out and support the stories of the Chesapeake and these organizations that are being um, recognized, the Heritage Heroes. Yes. So, Gail, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you on the 11th. I'll be there. <laughs>